that for me, or are you just glad I'm not Snow White? <laughs> I thought we'd bring her out and do the Lombada, the forbidden dance. <laughs> she was a little finicky, you know, these animated characters, you give them a hand, they want a thumb. You know, it's one of those things. But ladies and gentlemen, wasn't that piece of film remarkable, Chuck Workman's film? There are 330 feature films in that five-minute montage. And what's amazing is, according to Paramount, not one is yet to go into profit. <laughs> but we're here tonight to celebrate the greatest year in the history of motion pictures. This is our greatest year ever. Do you know the box office this year, worldwide, was over $5 billion? Thank you. <laughs> Five billion, or roughly half of what Jack Nicholson made on Batman. <laughs> this is a rich man. He just bought land in Japan. <laughs> now, I'm telling you, Jack is so rich, Morgan Freeman drove him here tonight. I'll tell you that right now. Whoa! I got it. You want one more? I got one more. You got it? Jack is so rich, John Peter still cuts his hair. Wow! Where does he get him from? Fastball. Ah, I feel better. You know, Mr. Malden was right, and while I was speaking, I found his wallet in the dressing room. I don't know why he's leaving cash around, but ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> He was talking about the amazing things that are happening in the world today. Now think about it. Six months ago, who would have possibly thought that the Berlin Wall would come down? <laughs> that Nelson Mandela would be freed? <laughs> and most incredibly, Meryl Streep would not be nominated for an Academy Award. <laughs> But a lot of great people were in a very eclectic group that we have tonight, beginning with the lovely Miss Jessica Tandy. She, of course, was nominated for Driving Miss Daisy, the movie that apparently directed itself. And... <laughs> and what's amazing is, at 80 years of age, Tonight would become the second oldest Oscar recipient ever. The first is uh, Shirley MacLaine, who's 915, I believe. <laughs> but on the other end of the age spectrum is the great filmmaker, Mr. Spike Lee. <laughs> who's whose breakthrough film, Do the Right Thing, is nominated for Best Original Screenplay tonight. Based on an idea of Art Buckwald's. But you know, I'm kidding, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding, it was Andy Rooney. But you know, ladies and gentlemen, and nominated again tonight is the legend himself, Marlon Brando. <laughs> Mr. Brando is the... And who can forget? Who can forget the last time that Mr. Brando won, which was for The Godfather, which you know was now 18 moons ago. It's unbelievable. <laughs> but tonight, the band loved it. <laughs> Look at him. We are being seen by over a billion people around the world, which is only right because our industry is now international. I mean, sooner or later, everybody does business with everybody, Hyman Roth. But ladies and gentlemen, later tonight, we're going to be going live to Russia, where today Disney announced plans to do the life story of Mikhail Gorbachev. <laughs> and it's going to be called, Honey, I Shrunk the Party. <laughs> These are good. <laughs> and right here in town, Hollywood has definitely taken on a foreign flavor. An Australian owns 20th Century Fox. MGM is being bought by an Italian who's promised only one small change. From now on, the line is not going to roar. He's going to be taking the fifth. <laughs> and of course, Columbia Pictures 
All right, I'll bring out Jack Valenti now, okay? <laughs> Columbia Pictures is going to be owned, uh, is owned by the great Japanese Sony Corporation, which makes it a little different to do business over there. It's that Japanese film feeling when you walk into the building, everybody's out of sync. <laughs> well, he'll be seeing you soon. Why don't you have a seat? He's talking on the car phone now. He'll be coming in later. Ah, 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 ah. Would you like? It's very different. But, and pitching ideas to movies there is very different. It's very different. I was sitting there the other day with some of the new Sony Columbia executives, and I'm telling about this movie that I had an idea for, and it's a love story, I'm telling them. I'm saying, it's very romantic. It starts in Central Park, and the couple's in a rowboat right in the middle of the lake. And then Godzilla come up and eat them! No, not quite what I had in mind. But it's an amazing show that we have tonight. We're going all around the world. And I know what you're thinking as you look at me. Where's my opening production of it? I know you miss it, don't you? Where's that big, terrible number that usually opens the Oscar? Where is that number where they take all the nominees for Best Picture, put them into one medley? Well, you won't be seeing that tonight. You won't see that number that usually... You won't see that number that usually begins... It's a wonderful night for Oscar, 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 who will win? The nominees for Best Picture are... Me and my left foot tapping down that field of dreams. Cuckoo place where ghosts can play. Is this heaven? No, Jack, it's I away. When you see Shoeless Joe swinging right, now it's the lockout, play Vincent arbitration kind of night. Could only happen in a field of we belong to a mutual dead poets society, Walt Whitman and me. It's great in a segregated state Driving Miss Daisy back home Make sure there's fuel to get me to shoot I'm driving Miss Daisy He's driving me crazy I'm driving Miss Daisy back Born on the 4th of July Born on the 4th of July Who will it be? If you finish it they will applaud. <laughs> okay, Mr. Makeup Man, get ready. We've got an early call. 